Dina Rennick here. I'm an artist and an art teacher, and today I'm going to show you how to make this really awesome candy cane. I had a great time drawing it myself, and I'm going to explain it to you step by step. So by the time you're done, you should have a candy cane too. If you do try it, please let me know in the comments, and if there's anything else you want to learn how to draw or make, let me know that too. If you find it useful, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And uh, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so here are the candy canes that I showed you before, and I'm going to show you how to make the outer shape of the candy cane, and then also how to do the thick and the thin stripes to make it look like it is really curving around the candy cane. So I'm going to move this out of the way, and we're going to start by drawing kind of an upside down J, or a shepherd's hook. So we're going to make a straight line. curve it around and then we're going to make a little loop on the bottom for the bottom of the candy cane and then follow along evenly and then curve it at the bottom like that. Now it doesn't have to be perfect because drawing is supposed to be fun. So now I just want to explain how we're going to make the stripes look like they are really curving around. So if this is the candy cane. The thick stripe is going to look like this. Sort of maybe a very shallow S type shape. Thin on both ends and a little wider and then you'd fill that in. So on the candy cane itself it's going to look like that. Same thing with the thin stripes. Make it thinner, thick, thin, like that. So on the candy cane itself, it would go. So kind of curve it down, over, and then down. So that's what your thin and your thick ones are going to look like. Then on the candy cane itself, same thing. Start at a point, make it go a little wide, and then end on a point. So if it's the thick one, fill it in. And if it's the thin one, don't fill it in. I guess they kind of look like little leaves too. So it kind of dips down, goes diagonal, and then dips uh, Oops, I didn't do that right. We're going to give this one an extra little stripe. I got busy talking. I'll let that one go off the end. A friend of mine that I used to work with, he said something like, don't let perfection be the enemy of good. So don't get so worried in being perfect that you don't even do anything, which I think is a pretty great little saying. So on the big curves, the stripes would curve more. So that's why I made it thin at the bottom but then wider at the top because it's like it's actually curving around the top. So that's why that one looks a little different. And then I'm letting it curve off the bottom tip too and there is my candy cane. Then you could draw as many candy canes as you want to. You could color them. You could use color. But I just think it's really fun to draw, and I hope that you do too. And I use the Sharpie. You can use whatever you want to use. But there we go. So here's our finished project. It's a really awesome candy cane. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know in the comments. And if you post it on social media, you can tag me in. 
on TikTok or on Instagram. Let me know in the comments and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for spending time with me and making art with me. It's one of my favorite things to do. Like I said, if you have more videos you want me to make, let me know. And if you did find this useful, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I will talk to you again and we'll see you in the next video. I love you guys. Bye. Mwah.